Okay. So uh, you can install uh, the report uh, report generator and then start creating reports. Now let me review what we have created so far. No. Ito no. So if you run this, we have created a printing for vendors and customers. No, a simple printout. Okay. So I've changed this now. Let me show you how I change this now. But vendors, if you if print, you will have a printout of all vendors. No? You have a header, you have a main body, and you will have a footer in a report. So you also have customers, okay, which you can print. Okay. You can put an image in the print button, no? okay, which you can actually now print to the printer if you like, no? or a PDF file. Okay, likewise, you will have functionalities like the page number, the total pages, no? and so on and so forth. No? So when you are creating a report, it's very important to understand the concept of data sets. No? A data set is actually like a form which you can use information about the tables which you want included in the report. No? So we have included the uh, okay, vendors and uh, customers. No? No. Uh, for the sake of those who are not here, no? let me create another report for items. Now, before we do that, no, if you go to our uh, main program, no, I have enhanced the, the, the buttons. What you need to do is in each button, no, you get the properties of each button. Sorry, no, 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 wala, no. You go here and look at the properties. No? Uh, can we do a right click? No, wala yung properties. Yes, now right click and set properties. You can click the properties of each button and you will have uh, okay, pro certain properties like you know, image before text. Now we can have this, we can change this. Text above image, text, uh, text, image above before text, text above image. Is there a text below image? Image above text. No? So, pwedeng ganyan, no? We can change this. The text. Uh, image above text. No? You can do that. No? So there are many things you can do. No? Image above text. And then uh, there's also another property which is what? Okay. Uh, text and when you display, no? let's arrange this alphabetically. When you display uh, you can display text and image. Display style. Okay. You say this text and image. Okay. And then there's also a, a property for image. No? The image. No? Uh, what, there's a property here which use, you can use to fill the style of the image. Okay, let's let's look, look for that. No? Visible text direction, text align, middle center. There's also an, an, a property for image. No? Okay, I forgot what it is. Anyway, let's look for that. No? One. Image scaling is middle center. Now, uh, okay. Image scaling, no? The image scaling, when you say it, the default is size to fit, that's why it's very small. No, you change the image scaling to none, okay? Like this, previously, this were the image scaling were size to fit, so very small uh, buttons, so it looks better this way, okay? So, anyway, let's create uh, we have a data source already, no, it's called the demo, demo data set. We have customers and vendors, no, now let's include items, okay? To include items, we have a plus here. Okay, we have a plus for configure data set wizard. We'll just do a plus. No? What you'd like to do, we'll, we want to include a table and we would like to include the table items. Okay, we say finish. So now if you look at our data source, we now have items. The good thing about this is we can now create a report of these items. No? Okay, so first, the way to do that is we'll save from time to time anyway. Is we go to our our solutions, you know, and then we add a new item. 
Okay, do you follow? You add a new item and then we'll say add new item and this time we will add a report. You look for a report. Okay, here it is, no? Report. When you click report, you give a name. It's good that you give, give a name right away, you know? We'll say it's RPT items, okay? They follow for forms, for example, we, we, we start our, we prefix our uh, item with our uh, objects with FRM. RP for reports, RPT. No? So we, now, we just say trust. Okay. We don't have even to read. No? Now we have a report. A report is like a form which goes to the printer. No? A form goes to the screen. A report goes to the printer. Okay. Now we can indicate in this report which data set are we going to use. Remember, we are going to use, ano? we are going to use items. We just say add. We'll take it from the dem demo, the data source, which is called demo da data set, which is our main data set. And we'll use the items which we have just created. Okay. We have a blank report. We, ca we can easily add, no? Insert page header. And then we also insert a page footer. Okay. Now, in between is our body. Then we can add a, a, a text box. Okay. So we say items asterisk. Okay. Let's enhance this. You can change the font, no? And other styling, no? You can do some styling. Like you can center this, no? You can change the font. Uh, you can underline. You can place it in a box. Whatever. You can add lines and rectangles, no? You can even add images, no? If you want to add a logo, you can insert an image. Do you follow? Okay. A logo in your report somewhere, no? You can do that yourself, no? I don't have to show that anymore. But when you insert an image, for example, no? You, you're going to look at, look for the file, no? So you can import an image, no? Okay. But I'd like you to try that yourself. That's uh, that's trivial, no? That's very self-explanatory. Okay. Items must release. And then... Uh, we can add, a, we can insert a line no? here, for example, in our footer. We can insert a line. We can insert a horizontal line to end the indicator. Okay. You can change the size of your footer by getting the properties. No? For example, 2.54 is an inch. It's too much. You can have one, one centimeter. Okay, that's, or you can have a two inch, you can have a two inch header. Shall we say uh, 2.54 is uh, 5, 5.08. 5 okay. Centimeters. No? They follow? <clears throat> or, pwede natin palitan muna. Let's set it back to 2.54. That's one inch. Okay. And then, we can add a table in the, in the, no, in the body we can add a table. A table is like a grid. Is it's like a data grid view, okay? However, this goes to the printer, not the screen, okay? They follow. Now, if you have your data set, you can just you know drop your items there already. No, okay. Okay. They follow. No, you can change the 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 no. You can say item description. That's the unit we have to know uh, we have to make a, a stored procedure. I'm going to show you how to create to link no uh, uh, report or rather a stored procedure to a report. Okay. Now uh, you can have for example here no? the selling price. You want to format this. You can look at the properties. No, this is the button for the properties. You can set the number alignment. Shall we say the number? We use comma separator to decimal places. This one also. This one we can also change the properties to okay, the, 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 the number format. We can set okay, just like Excel, no? In two decimal places. <coughs> okay, so now we have the report. The next thing to do is to create a report viewer. A report viewer is a form which can be used to preview. Things on is here. Tingson, bak bakit dalawa? Okay. 
Bakit dalawa yung kanyang ano? Anyway. Tingsin. Okay. So, ganun, no? We can change the format and then, uh, yeah. We will create a report viewer. A report viewer is a form, okay? Which we can use to do a preview on the report. You know, when you print a report, you have to preview it first to the screen. Okay? It's like a print preview. That's the use of a report viewer. To do that, we'll have to add another, no? We have to, to in, the, in here, we have to, have to add a new form. It's just a new form. New item, and then we'll say Windows Forms. Okay? Windows Form like this. And the name of this is, shall we say, FRM Items Viewer. And we can assign any name. And then, uh, of course, we can put the text, no? We can change the text as Items Master List. It's one of the properties. It's now Items Master List. To get a report view, viewer, sometimes it's hard to look for in the in the toolbox. No? Mahirap siya napin. Uh, okay. For example, in my case, nasa report Microsoft SQL Server siya. You can just look at all in case. No? You just drag, the, drag this to your form. Okay. And choose the report. What's the name of our report? RPT items. Remember that, no? RPT items. our report viewer okay we follow we save this and then in our items master list in our items file rather form no? frm items where is our fr item Ulang open so if none is open we can look it look for it in our solutions no? so we need items no? okay maglalagay tayo ng uh, print button okay now wala tayong uh, no, we, we didn't have a navigator toolbox, so we'll just put a print button, okay? So we'll go to the, the toolbox and then look for a, a button, okay? Button, where's the button? The button. Ito natin lagyan ng print. Let's name this BTN print. And the text to be print or print preview. Okay, print preview lang naman talaga yan. Now, uh, opening a print pre preview is just opening another form. Okay, we just have to remember this. This is our items master list. No? What's the name of this form? To double click. Okay. This is items viewer. FRM items viewer. So, we'll just say, we'll copy this. Okay, we'll go to our items design and, and the preview here. We'll, we'll have... FRM is equal to new. Okay. Tama ba? Okay. Anyway, let's look for it in our, no? let's copy the, the it's like this. No? May open close, no? Do you follow? Okay. There should, there should be an open close. That, no? I just copy the, the, no? the name from the form itself and it will say FRM dot show. Okay, we follow. Let's try that. Okay, print. Eight of us. So that's that's what we have. No, we now have a report. Okay, any questions? So what's imp how what's important in creating a report? First, you have to set up the data set which is the source of your report, the data that you will print on your report. After that, you create a header, a footer, and a detail. You format the report. Okay. After which, you create the report viewer, okay. which will run, indicate what report is going to be shown, and you launch the, the, the report viewer with a, with a button. Okay? Any questions so far? Any questions? Now, what I'd like to show you shortly is in our, no, in our, uh, how do you print contents from a master detail form? Okay, ito ang pinaka-importante. For example, you have vendors, no? 
and then we have this and we'll have a print button Lagyan natin ito ng print button how do you print a report from several tables do you follow kasi the reports that we have printed so far come from single tables like vendors customers no items they come from single vendors single no there are many ways to do that in in c sharp no in visual studio the the most the, the simplest way to do this is to create a stored procedure and make the stored procedure the default data set the data set to be used in your report okay so let me show you that the stored procedure which i use in order to create the vendors no rather the ven the vendor uh, order okay it's in regular also no? So it's in Daigler and it's included in, a, in the backup. So for example, in my, I have one of the store procedures called uh, vendor, SP vendor order, SP vendor order, store procedure for a particular vendor order. No? So ito yun. Okay. This is, uh, can you see that? No? Let me view that. Uh, 125. Okay na siguro ito. Okay, do you follow? So this comes from four tables. First, the order details. The order details contains the uh, quantity and the cost, no? and even the total. Do you follow ito? Ito yung computation of the total. No? This total, no? Okay, this is the total. First, we have the item cost and the item quantity. But that, no? okay. And then the main, the main, the main purpose why we are uh, using a store procedure is. Let me close that and open that again. The main, the main, main purpose why we are using a store procedure because we are going to join it the contents from the different tables together to appear as if they are just one table <laughs> okay so for example we are going to get the item cost and the item quantity from order details okay we are going to get a dis the description of the item from the items table so we have to do a left join from the order details to the item do you follow and then we are going to get the vendor name from vendors so, however, we cannot do a join right away without or left go, doing a left, left join to orders because it's 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 the table that stores the, the vendor ID. And then, so we left join to the summary table. We left join to vendors so that we can be able to fetch the vendor record. So now we can say uh, D dot V dot name vendor. Okay. And then the units also is in the, the units of measure. It's in the units table. That's why we have to left join it to items to get the description and let left join it to units to get the units description. Because what we have indeed indeed in items is only the units of measure ID, not the description. Any questions so far? No? So gagawin natin yan. Meron na tayong store procedure. The name of the store procedure is SP vendor order. Okay? So the next thing to do is to add this to our data source, no? Our data source has customers, items, and vendors. Let's add the SP vendor order data set. How do we do that? There's a plus here, okay? It can plus na ito. We click this plus, and then, okay. We are asked, what are we going to add? This time, we are not going to add a table, but we are going to add a stored procedure and specify which stored procedure we are going to include. In our case, we mentioned it's SP vendor order. We just say click and then finish. If you have a correct, no? as long as you have a correct and accurate uh, store procedure, it will give you the, the fields being called by the store procedure as if it were a table. Do you follow? So behind that, it's a query of five tables. Five tables, what? Okay. Order details, one, two, three, four, five. No? 
five tables joined together. I hope you are familiar with joining, no? It should be in your previous course, okay? How to do left joins, which it should be in your previous course, okay? So, <clears throat> oh, let's proceed, no? How do we create the report? It's the same thing, no? As long as you have the data set, you create the same way using uh, tables, okay? So, we go to window, our app solutions, no? And then we right click and then we add, okay? Take note of this, no? A new item, okay? We add a report. All na lang tayo, no? Installed and then we look. Installed gives you all, no? And go make a report. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to name the report because I just double click. Anyway, no harm done. We'll just rename the report, no? Okay, what's the name of this report? Ito, ito, no? Report 1. Okay, we'll just rename this by right-clicking and do a name. We'll call this RPT Vendor Order, okay? So RPT Vendor Order, okay? So we are going to insert a page header and a insert a page footer. Ito yung importante na ito ngayon, ang page header at saka. Now, we indicate the data set, Okay? We indicate the data set. We just right click and add a data set. We are going to take this data set from our demo date, data source. Okay. And then the available data sets will specify SP vendor order. No, in this is a vendors and items and customs. Okay. And then we'll just click OK. So we now have this data set for the, available for the report. No? So now uh, let, let me add, uh, let's change this. No, we're not in five, but I'm not sure I'm not 5.04 cn okay and then we'll add a text no? uh, extend this purchase order shall we say call it call it purchase order you can have you have, can add a company name no whatever you like and then we can center this okay what is usually on the header of a purchase order? You will have a port, uh, you will have a, you will have the order number. So this is the order number, right? Order ID. To place this to the header, you just have to drag it like that. No? Okay, and you 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 insert a label or a text box, okay, to indicate that this this one is the this component is the order ID, order number. Okay, you follow? Ganyan. Okay, and then you will have the order date, right? You can paste the order order number as you as you wish. No, may ibagus to dito sa right hand side. Others would like it on the left hand side. No, but usually you place the date. No, where's the date? We have order date. No, we we, we click this first. No, click this first and drag it to the header. No, so we now have the order date. Now you you can format the date. No. By, go, by clicking this and then on the properties, no? The properties, you can click this tool button, okay? The number, uh, the date format, okay, we'll change this to the normal, no? Month, day, year. That's the normal. And then we can copy one of the labels if you like, no? Or, or we, can just, we can just insert a, a new text box. No? Give this order date. Okay, and then we'll put the name of the vendor. Name here. How do we drag it from the database? Now we have here name vendor. We click this and drag it here. No, in in a drag, no. Yeah. Okay. You have to drag it carefully. Like that, <laughs> and then we'll have our remarks. Or you, if you have other fields, and we'll take it from order remarks. We click this and then drag it here. You have to wait for the, the indicator to change a little. You can align it. Then you can change it like that. No? We follow. And you can insert a line if you like. No? 
So, ayaw kong lagyan ng line. Na, kasi I would like to insert a table. <coughs> okay. Like uh, this, we can change now. We can now change the, the no? so say 4, 6 cm. No, it's too small. Okay. We can just arrange this. Okay. Are you following me? Okay. Any questions? Anyway, this is recorded, so you can view. Now we'll insert a table, no? So we'll insert a table on the body. No? Insert a table. A table is just like a data grid view. Now this is this is the easy part, no? Now, uh, for example, the first part of the table is the description of the item. We'll just drag it here. You can rename this no? item description. And then the quantity ordered. So, ilagay natin dyan, which you can just drag it there. And then the header will be quantity ordered. Likewise, no, you can format the you can format the, the, the number here by clicking this and clicking the properties and the number. Okay, we'll just put the comma separator. Okay. Para mas maganda naman tingnan. And then we'll have, after the ordered, quantity ordered, we'll have the unit of measure, right? So we'll drag the name unit. Or you can click this, no? And then say name unit. Okay. Units. Now this is, uh, we, and then we can add an, a new, we, in, we insert a column to the right. This is very long. Quantity ordered also is long. And then, we'll put the item cost. No? So, dito na natin ilalagay item cost. And then, we can format. We can format this. Number to be two decimal places. We will add one more column. Insert column to the right. Insert. Ito lang. We click this. Insert. Hindi siya na 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 pili. Insert column to the right. And then we'll put the amount. Item amount. You can change the account and sorry. Properties of the number. Okay. We use two decimal places with commas. Okay. Now, it's, now that's the good thing with a stored procedure. We only use one table for all of the report. Even the footer, no? For example, in the footer, we will insert a text box for the total. Okay. We follow. And then we just tag the total amount. Where's the total amount? Order amount. No? We'll just drag it here. Click muna. Pag mag plus na yung ano, mag plus na yung uh, pointer, it's the time that you ano. Okay? And then, we can uh, do, we can do a, a format. Nandito rin yung format niya. No? We can just do an N2. That's a shortcut. No? Ganon din yata dito. No? We'll just do... Ayan, nagyan na nyo. It's okay, no? Okay. And alignment, you can do a right align for this. Okay, this one also, right align. Right align ang mga, mga numeric. Eh. Okay, and then the unit of measure will do a center align. Ito. Okay. Left align na yung description. Right. Okay, so we have a good looking report, no? We have a, 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 a like an invoice. So now, the next thing to do is to create the report viewer. So we'll just go, then add. Now, the good thing about this report viewer, it's like the vendor's order. Look at the single order. We have single order. Okay. Single order. We have to pass the order of ID. Do you follow? The order ID. 
so that we'll know which order, which particular order is going to be print to be printed. Okay, so we are going to add a new item. If this is just a Windows form, Windows form that we'll call this order viewer. FRM order. Okay. Okay. So now we double click and then look at the. Uh, no. We will use an or, order ID because this this will this will uh, print the particular order. In it's an in sixty four ID order. Correct, banya. Hindi niya kinorek. We have to correct this capital I. Okay. And then we'll pass an in sixty four also. ID O. And then we'll store it as the the a, pri a private property. Okay, so we'll say this that ID order is equal to ID O. Okay, do you follow? Wala pa error so far, no? Okay. 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 Let's go to the design view. What we'll put here is a report viewer. So itong report viewer, ilalagay na naman natin dito. Okay, we'll choose the report. The report is vendor order. Okay, we'll just put it here. Okay, how do you choose? Now, our you may ask, our store procedure has a parameter, right? Look at that, diba? May parameter na ID order. How do we pass it from Visual Studio? Okay, minimize that. Now, you look at the form load, no? Ninagdagan na niya dito. Okay, and how, which tells you which particular or uh, store procedure is being used. You pass the parameter here, no? By putting a comma and then the parameter which is ID order. Order that ID, this ID order. The order that is passed in the uh, constructor of the form. Okay? Do you follow? So, now we need a, we need a, a button. Okay? Dito. Lagyan natin ito ng print button. Okay? Do you follow? So, dito from the, from the, no, from our, from our single order form. So, we'll put a button. We'll just find a button from the toolbox. Okay, we'll put it here. Okay. We'll call this the print button. Dito sa properties, no? So, print the name is you can put a, a, a logo or an image if you like VPN print okay so five minutes now what we'll do is just add the uh, order viewer we'll say frm order viewer fm frm is equal to new frm order viewer and then we pass no? the order id this, we also have an order ID here, ID order, okay? And then we'll say frm.show. Okay, we have a few minutes more. Anyway, we have time. Let's run this. Okay. Let's look at uh, the, our vendor orders. We double click this. Now we have a print button. We'll click this. Okay. So we now have a. May total sa baba. Uh, the, 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 the bottom was not formatted, no? Okay. We can adjust this if you like, no? Wala mo format. Let's do the formatting first. Check why it's not formatted. We go to the order report. Format on erase and format. We'll just say. Uh, anyway, we'll just. Dito na lang, no? Mas madali dito. Number. Okay, so nilagyan niya ng form. Okay, and then uh, the unit of measure will extend. And then the description itself will extend. No? Okay. And then we run again. Okay. Do you follow? No? Okay. 
Any questions? So remember, no? I'll, I'll put this, this is how you. Aduana. Okay, so look at the report. We have formatted, so na format siya na. Okay, so we now have an, an invoice like vendor order. Okay. okay. So uh, we have 40 minutes lang pala ang ano, no? Tayang, I choose to be 50 minutes. We have four minutes left. No? Okay. Do you have questions? So I think that's the end of our formal meeting. Okay. Okay. Questions, everyone? I'll upload this example. Okay. Next meeting, I'll just be around to uh, answer questions. No. Okay. You email me if you have concerns. Okay. So take note, huh? My full example na printing of master lists and or uh, ano, uh, master detail forms. Okay. Do you follow? No? So kung ito rin ang ipiprint, take note, if you're going to print this. Okay. Any questions? So I'll save the record. I'll, I'll save the 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 session. No? If you have problems, you contact me next meeting. No, I'll be, be around. No, I will not hold a lecture anymore. No, but I will be around to answer your questions. Consultation na lang tayo. Lectures, okay? Okay. Okay, bye everyone. No. Good luck with your finals. No, this is your only requirement. Okay, I'll be around next week. Okay, please, please don't don't hesitate to ask questions. Okay, if you have problems, email me if you hesitate. Okay. So bye everyone. I'll upload the video now. Thanks a lot.